there again. I will now talk about the classical guitar types, or preferably their size and characteristics. This one is a full size classical guitar, also known as the four quarter size. It's the most common type you can find, and it's played by a lot of classical guitar players from amateurs to professional. There are smaller types than that, often destined to younger people. The quarter size, for example, is very small and can be played by very young kids from 3 to 5 or 6 years old. The half size is a little bit bigger and can be played by kids from 5 to 8 years old. And finally, the three quarter size is even bigger and can be played by kids from 8 to 11 and even some adults. As you find it's easier to press the strings on it. As you can see, this guitar doesn't have any cutaway. Most classical guitar doesn't have any cutaway. It's the Spanish, Spanish guitar style, the Spanish design. Designed by Antonio de Torres. So why no cutaway? Well, it's rare to use the upper frets for classical music. In general, we stay on the first 12 frets. It happens, but in general, we stay there. Talking about frets, you may have noticed that this guitar is starting in the 12th fret. It's very common for classical guitars. Some of them are starting at the 14th fret. But they're not used quite often. So if you want to amplify your classical guitar, you can decide to buy a um, classical guitar with a PSO pickup integrated to the body. But you'd rather go with some microphone in front of it to amplify it and to reproduce the sound with better accuracy. Uh, this guitar, as you can see, has six strings. Uh, this is the standard. Some of them have more, like the 12 strings classical guitar, which actually has three, uh, six courses of two strings brought together. So six strings, treble strings, three treble strings and three bass strings. The treble strings are made of nylon. The bass strings are also made of nylon but only at the core. It's copper and silver plated bronze wounded around the nylon thread that would give you this metallic sound. Treble strings are thinner and sound clearer and softer and maybe warmer. So, a full-size classical guitar is smaller than a dreadnought, and it's also lighter, and even more fragile. So it's important to put only classical guitar strings on it. Otherwise, you'll damage the body, you'll damage the guitar itself, due to the tension exerted by the strings. Now. You can play every genres with this type of guitar, but personally, I recommend it for folk, flamenco, and classical music. Talking about flamenco, you can also decide to play on a flamenco guitar. This is very similar to the classical type, but with a few differences. The main one is situated um, in this area, it's the template or golpeador integrated to the body. Its main role is to protect from the constant drumming on it. The body of the flamenco guitar is also lighter and thinner because the drumming needs to be bright. If you're a flamenco player, this is the ultimate guitar for you. Now, if you're um, if you decide to play on a classical guitar like this one, you can play classical music. This is um, the best guitar for classical music. 
alternatively, if you're uh, uh, if you play folk or other genres, you can either either decide to play on a nylon string guitar or steel string guitar. It really um, depends on the sound that you seek. The choice is yours, my friend. I hope you'll make it wisely, and I'll see you for the other styles, the other types of guitar.